The second last word is going to go to my friend Mukesh Gupta. And although he is not a blood relative, I've decided that I might as well adopt him as my older brother. Because he's the right age, he's cute, and he's a great guy. Now, officially, he is the director and head of operations for Tata Consulting Services in Canada. He is based in the Canadian headquarters of TCS and is responsible for all its administrative and delivery functions. He fosters strategic relationships with multiple stakeholders and he works with government, academia, research centers, trade bodies and business institutions. He's an entrepreneur, both in India and Canada, and works very hard on that bridge between India and Canada. I don't know where he gets time to do all of this, but he is the executive director of the Tata Cup Sustainability Case Competition at Leading Based Business Schools, and he helped create this program in 2005. He's a founding chair of the Ottawa Council of the Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce, and I noticed that although I recognize him early, Satish Tucker, who is the current president of the Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce, has joined us tonight, so thank you very much. And also Vinod Munchi of the IIT came in a bit late of the IIT Alumni Association, so thank you, Vinod, for your support. He is on a number of board of governors, TIE Toronto, obviously, the Information Technology Association of Canada, the Diversity Board at the CTV, and a number of academic boards. And when he does all that, he's also a great founder in uh, Thai Institute and an, and, and an amazing cook. An amazing cook. The most important thing, a man who can cook. So if we're going to give marital advice, a man who can cook does pretty good too. From speaking on behalf of the women in this room. On that note, I would like Mukesh Gupta to close off with a vote of thanks to you and to the organization. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Nina. And uh, I think my speech or my vote of thanks will be much shorter than the bio that Nina read. <laughs> Uh, this would not have been possible without the support of many, many individuals who have worked behind the scenes. All of us are volunteers. Uh, Thai Toronto continues to run on a very, very frugal and very entrepreneurial way. We have one paid staff. So you can appreciate in the number of programs we do in excess of 60 public speaking engagements every week we are doing programs. It is the help and support of volunteers. And I do want to thank, and I want to name them, Sonal, Navdeep, Ujwal, Sachi. Some of them are here today, and we could not have done all without your help. We like to thank our guest speaker, who not only did not talk about entrepreneurship, because he took it for granted that all of us uh, understand the subject, and chose to delight us with his sort of sense of American humor. <laughs> I mean, there is nothing better you can talk to the Canadian crowd. I mean, if we have a pastime passion. If we did not talk about Americans and how much we are different than Americans, I don't know what else we will do. So thank you for so bringing the delight. And we do value our partners, the greatest partnership in this globe, south of the border. We do enjoy the sense of security in Canada because we do have such a great partner south of the border. And we do love Americans and we do a lot of things together. But when it comes to hockey, that's different. You know? <laughs> so obviously, we'd like to thank our esteemed senator to join us. You make us proud, Senator. Thank you. And of course, Without the help and support of our council journal, very able body has been a chief leader and a cheerleader for India, done a fantastic job ever since she's here, and we are so glad that she will be with us for some more time. So thank you, council general. And of course, today, uh, we like to also thank all of our media partners. So we have uh, Omni Television here, we have Asian Television Network here. We have ethnic channels here, as well as we have representation from CBC. Thank you, Preeti, uh, for being here. Uh, Thai Chair, my fellow board director, Harun Mirza, did a fantastic job taking on. And this is what I really call the purpose of Thai that started 20 years ago 
with the sense that we wanted to give back. The people who have achieved success, and it is not by way of giving back, by way of charity, but really building capacity. And I think Thai continues to do this, so when we see people like Harun, who benefited and who saw Thai made a difference in their life, now they are coming back and saying, this is what I want to do. And so we are proud of that. Thank you, Harun. And thank you, Zara, for sharing Harun with us. And of course, uh, we have a volunteer board. All of my board members are here. I believe most of the board is here. So thank you. And all of the mentors, all of the academic partners. So today we saw the perfect collaboration. One university is paying the bill, other university is presenting the award, <laughs> right? Next year, Judith will pay the bill and somebody else will present the award. So that's okay. I mean, we talk about entrepreneurship and we talk about competitiveness. But when we talk to the academia, they put us all to shame. They are so competitive and that's why they are producing the talent that we need. And of course, greatest thanks to all of our sponsors and all of the corporate sponsors that continue to support us throughout the year not only just for the Thai Quest program, and very lately we are seeing a collaboration that is taking place across the country. We have three chapters, and all of our chapters are coming together and want to be the single face in front of the national bodies who likes to have a Canada-wide presence. So HSBC is here today, and I want to thank Sonia Kapasi especially for coming through and agreeing to become our national sponsors and support all three chapters. So as our partners continue to see value in us, they will continue to reach out their customers and our constituents. You saw the historic perspective. Suresh has provided immense amount of leadership. And I'm so glad that he recruited me ever since uh, within the last one year I moved to Toronto. After living in Ottawa for 27 years, I was involved in Thai in Ottawa and Suresh asked me to get involved, and I was very glad to do that. And you also saw Harun present where we are today. So I want to talk a little bit about where we are heading. We have 60 plus charter members who are very generous with their support to us, and it is our hope that apart from their support, financial support, we can engage with them and we can see them getting actively involved. Because it is their experience that is a lot more valuable for our aspiring entrepreneurs. And this is only an ask. You saw how it has been evolved when we created this eight years ago Thai Quest. And as Suresh alluded that some of the initial presentations, although we had a number of participants, but they had good ideas, but did not have all of it, what it takes to be in receiving this final. So the purpose of Thai Institute was to create a very well-structured program in the life cycle of an entrepreneur, right from idea generation to ultimate exiting. And we were very fortunate to have Lalit Guglani with us, who is an actual large CEO of three public companies. So we could not have found a better entrepreneur conducting a program in a corporate boardroom setting. And we delivered that program very successfully and we are thankful to Ontario government and Ministry of Economic Development. Out of all the places we did not go to research innovation, another program, but Ministry of Economic Development, because they saw that entrepreneurship is translating into economic development. Every entrepreneur who chooses to become an entrepreneur and making it a career choice ends up creating so many more jobs that help the economy. So coming from Thai Institute, the next phase of this organization that we are heading to, that we would like to go across uh, as many campuses as we can and establish 
Thai youth chapters. This will be entrepreneurship club, which will be initially supported and seeded by Thai. And this is our vision that we would like to engage with the young about to be graduating or people start thinking about it early on. And we are glad to announce that we have received approval for University of Toronto, that's Canada's largest university, to have our first Thai youth chapter in very near future. We would like to see Thai Quest grow and across as many Thai chapters. So we already have two chapters and we are glad to see Thai Ohio present here and ultimately also being very successful in achieving. So this kind of collaboration, it is our hope. Now we will be able to take it all across as many chapters as possible. This is a program, it is well incubated. It's been here for eight years. It has proven some success. We have some processes behind. Uh, always there will be opportunities for us to improve on it. And we would like to take it worldwide. So this is our investment into next generation of entrepreneurs. And with uh, these many words, I did go a little bit longer than the bio. And, and uh, I like to thank you all for being here. Without you, we could not have done this event. And thank you once again for all your support. <laughs>